The year is 1978. The place? Near Skipton, Yorkshire, England. Several British police officers witnessed a UFO silently flying slowly overhead. The object was extremely bright, and no known conventional aircraft matched its description. In January 1978, in the middle of the night, Sergeant Tony Dodd and Police Constable Alan Dale were driving in the vicinity of Connolly near Skipton, Yorkshire, in their official line of duty, when a strange aerial machine came into view. Dodd stated, We were going down a country lane and you know what it's like up there. It was dark and the only light you've got is your headlights. Suddenly the road in front of us lit up. Of course, the immediate reaction is, where's the light coming from? But it was coming from above. We stopped the car, looked up, and there was this thing coming from our right to our left. The object was about 100 feet away, moving at less than 40 miles per hour. It was glowing, like a bright white incandescent glow, and it came right over our heads. The whole unit was glowing. It was as if the metal of what this thing was made of was white hot. And there were these three great spheres underneath, like huge ball bearings, three of them equally placed around it. There was a hollow area underneath and like a skirting around the bottom. But these things protruded below that. It was absolutely awe-inspiring to see it. I don't know how to explain it to you. It was such a beautiful looking thing. It seemed to have portholes round the dome, an elongated domed area, and what stood out more than anything else was the colored lights dancing around on the outside of the skirt at the bottom, which gave the visual impression that it was rotating. Now whether the thing was going round, or whether it was just the lights that were going round and giving that impression. I don't know, I would say it was the lights that were going round because when you were looking at the portholes, they didn't seem to be going round in a circle as you would have expected. The object was completely soundless. When the thing had passed over our heads it sort of went into the distance then suddenly appeared to come down. There's a big wood to our left, right on a distant hillside, and it appeared to go down in that wood. We carried on along this road and as we got toward the village we could see these lights coming toward us from the other direction. It was another police car. We stopped. And he said, I've just been watching this damn great UFO. And it seems to have come right down somewhere over here. A total of three policemen witnessed the mysterious object. There was no way this was a conventional aircraft, swamp gas, or any other dismiss out of hand type of explanations. Only three possibilities remain. One, the police were lying for unknown reasons. Two, it was a secret advanced military aircraft of some kind. Or three, it was a genuine alien craft of unknown origins. You decide.